We begin with the peace talks between the Colombian government and the FARC guerrilla group, which resumed this Tuesday in Havana with tensions increasing between the two parties. Natalia Margarita is following these very important happenings and negotiations. Hi, Natalia. Ma Natalia, how are you doing? Now, there are some tensions now at the peace talks due to the increase of attacks by the government and the presence of paramilitarism. What can we expect from this phase, Natalia? This definitely is going to be an issue that we can expect to be addressed uh, now that the 43rd round of peace talks region has just started there in Havana, Cuba. Uh, the FARC, ha uh, during this weekend, uh, the FARC raised concerns regarding the increasing military attacks and that these military attacks by the Colombian army uh, is placing uh, a danger, at risk, uh, the unilateral ceasefire that the FARC has been holding since the 20th of July this year. Apart from this a specific issue of, of the military uh, attacks and the militarization of territories here in Colombia, we can also expect during this 20, uh, 43rd round of peace talks the issue of the ratification of the agreements and also uh, the issue what it's pending with uh, that has to do with the issue of justice uh, both are also expected to be addressed during this new round of peace talks weekend well now we have the national liberation party the eln which have called on the government to agree to a bilateral ceasefire from what we understand and they released a statement giving details about last week's attack to a on a military convoy what do you think, Natalia, is the government waiting for to engage in real peace talks also with the ELN? Well, same as the case with the FARC, the negotiations between the government and the FARC, we're talking here about a bilateral negotiation. So what the ELN and the government ha uh, have been up to during the last uh, two years is uh, what we call here in Colombia exploratory talks. This has to do basically, Regan, with uh, agreeing on the, on the agenda that is going to be negotiated. Uh, the leaders from the ELN have said uh, during the recent time that uh, there is something like in between an 80 and 90 percent already agreed on what would be the agenda once they make official these uh, peace talks. We're expecting, and many uh, social organizations here in Colombia as well as peace advocates have said and have speculated that this year we could have this official announcement on official negotiations between the ELN and the government. Of course, these are very important happenings and negotiations. Thank you so much, Natalia, for following up on this. You're doing some great work as usual. We'll touch, touch base with you another time. Thanks so much. Back to you, Regan.